Yeah, that's big news. I think that's big news for sport, for British sport. He's been one of the, in terms of of his industry, the industry that he's in, and the sport that he's in. He's been the, one of the top performers for such a consistent amount of time. Uh, so for sport, I think sport needs to take note of you know that it passes over to to those that can do and those that can't, and he's going into the category of those that can't do it anymore. Uh, and I'm sure he'll find a role somewhere, but. Uh, he's absolutely been one of the greats, Kev. And uh, I, I was watching a boxing show once, uh, and and they were talking about who were their top ten heavyweights. And uh, one bloke didn't have Mike Tyson in his top ten heavyweights, and everybody was was surprised. They said, "I, I can't believe you haven't got Mike Tyson in there." He says, "No, Mike Tyson got there, but he didn't stay there." And the, he said, and he described his definition of being great in attaining a certain level and staying there. For years and years and years, and if you look at the whatever weight division, you know some some boxers have stayed there, and they are true greats. And Kev would be described as one of the true greats that uh, that got there and stayed there, and consistently answered questions that have been asked of him over a number of years. So uh, it's a big moment for the game, big moment for rugby league. He's, listen, we miss we miss Kev and we miss JP. We're always going to miss those players. You know, you have two players at that level. You was always going to miss them. But that's not to say there's never been once when I think, oh, we'll, we'll get Kev back. Never. No, because that's what Lily and Sutcliffe are going through, some experience that Kevin Sinfield went through when he was 16, 17 and 18. And, you know, getting left out of games, being injured, going through the, the crisis. We haven't, I keep banging this drum most weeks, but, uh, you know, there's a version of what we're going through at the moment which is very, very good for us. And, you know, to go get Kev back, not that we would or not that Kev would, how did we go get Kev back or try and rescue the situation and bringing in somebody like a Kev or a JP? It would cause that much damage to these young fellas' progression. This is where we've got to trust with where we're at. This is where we've got to hold our nerve with where we're at and just see it through. Just with you and Kev being so close over the last few years, did you have any discussions with him ahead of the announcement? No, no, I haven't. No, he's uh, these. The, I don't think Kev would have talked to many people about this. He's family probably and that, that would be it uh, maybe he's, he's really close friends uh, well he's only just down down a couple of corridors he's a different team at the moment they've got a, a bit going on with Carnegie Yorks Carnegie there just on the cusp of of playoffs and, and potentially getting promoted to premiership uh, and this would be a big announcement for Kevin you've got a lot going on there but uh, yeah I'm pleased I'm pleased he's made a decision and he's pleased he's confident with it